yeah, just wanted to start by thanking the judging committee for the for the award. Um, to say that we're humbled uh, and honored by the award would be an understatement. We we built this product to break down barriers to that exist to installing high efficiency heat pumps. Um, and we're thrilled that the judging committee has recognized that value with with this award. So uh, to start off with a discussion of some of the features of the product, um, it's a easy install heat pump. Um, so you can on, you can see some images of what it looks like installed on the left. It hangs over the windowsill um, rather than blocking the window like a normal air, window air conditioner, but Otherwise, the installation is about as easy as a normal window air conditioner. Um, and uh, that's enabled by four, four features. So first, firstly, it, the refrigerant is factory charged. Um, and, uh, and then the, the system is hermetically sealed. So that means that you don't need an EPA 608 license to install the product. And it also means that, um, that you have a much lower list, risk of refrigerant leakage. Second, it plugs into a standard 120 volt outlet, so you don't need to do building electrical upgrades in many in many installations. Um, third, it uh, atomizes the condensate and meltwater outdoors um, rather than requiring plumbing. And you can see in that image in the bottom left a photo of of these atomizers. This is a one of the newer aspects of the technology. Um, and then, uh, and then lastly, it you it doesn't require a hole to be punched in the wall. Um, it installs through a hole in the building envelope that already exists, namely the the, the window. Um, and then also it creates a really tight seal in that in that window opening. We um, have done a lot of optimization around around the seal there to make sure that that we're not. Um, that, that we're not hurting the performance of the building while installing the heat pump. Performance-wise, um, getting to uh, the tenet of energy efficiency, uh, perform performance-wise, the product is performs just as well as a standard mini split. Um, so it's rated with different metrics, CEER and HEER, um, but you can see on the slide how those translate to CR2 and HSPF2 which are the metrics for uh, a central system, central heat pump, or uh, ducted or ductless um, that folks might be more familiar with. And yeah, those efficiency metrics are right in line with what you'd expect from a high efficiency mini split. Um, and then at cold temperatures, it maintains really great performance too, uh, super high efficiency um, and high capacity down down at those low temperature points. Um, and then lastly, from a control standpoint, the the product um, has this really nice touch screen interface on it, which we believe to be a first for a window air conditioner. Um, provides a deep level of control of um, types of features that you don't normally are, are able to access on the device itself, such as you can do scheduling on the device. Um, so it kind of acts like a like a smart thermostat built into the, into the into the device, um, and uh, and then it also has physical buttons around the edge. You can see um, that help with accessibility for folks that might not be so comfortable with with a touch screen. Um, we have backnet connectability coming out early next year um, to allow you to tie this into your building management system if you're operating a large building. Um, and then there's potential also for it to be integrated with demand response via a Wi-Fi connection. We've, we've done a small pilot of that already. Um, and then lastly, uh, all this can be upgraded over time because the product has the capability for over-the-air updates. Uh, once it's connected to Wi-Fi, we can send out new firmware for the product to enable more features over time. Um, this is all done very securely in, a, in accordance with the integrated home competition uh, tenant um, with end-to-end -end encryption and all that. So we can go to the next slide. Um, in terms of existing deployments, uh, this is a pretty high profile one that I'll 
I'll talk through briefly. So the New York City Housing Authority um, were required by a building performance standard in New York City called Local Law 97 to, to decarbonize their building stock. And they looked at existing heat pump technologies and found that with existing uh, technologies, mini splits, VRFs, et cetera, it would be cost prohibitive for them to um, electrify their space heating. And so they put out a challenge called Clean Heat for All, where they asked for a window heat pump that would that would perform uh, as well as, as those existing products do um, in order to dramatically reduce the cost of installation. So we, we were awarded a contract for 10,000 heat pumps um, through, through that contest and uh, installed the initial 36 of them last December um, in this building you can see here in Woodside, Queens. It's 1949 brick building. Um, we installed three heat pumps per 700 square foot two bedroom apartment, a bit oversized, but that that um, sizing allows for zonal control because uh, they put one per bedroom and then one in the common area. Um, and this installation was all done in under a week for uh, for these 12 apartments, which averages one hour per heat pump. In comparison, uh, the housing authority had found with with mini split installations, it took a week to install in a mini split in one apartment. So that's about a 10x over a 10x reduction, which translates directly to cost savings due to the reduced labor requirement, and also translates to um, Reduced resident disruption, which is really important. NYSERDA, um, the state agency, the state energy uh, office of New York, uh, has been overseeing measurement and verification of of these initial thirty six heat pumps, um, and they shared some initial results uh, in July um, with a private meeting for New York stakeholders, and then actually again in in um, about a month ago uh, at the Energy Star Product Partners meeting. So I'm excited to, to share those results with this group broadly. So they measured 85 to 88% reduction in site energy use for heating, uh, which translates to 49 to 60% uh, cost savings uh, for heating. And that's that's a really big deal because this is a, this is previously a gas-fired building. I think a lot of folks on the call are familiar with the challenges involved with electrifying gas. You often see very little cost savings or in some cases, even cost increases, depending on the rate structure and the climate. So um, the fact that this gas fired building resulted in such significant energy cost savings um, is a big deal. And the reasons for that are because a uh, steam heat is pr particularly inefficient. Um, and B, uh, the, the product is performed in the field the way that it that it does in the lab. And that's not always the case um, for, for heat pumps. So um, a couple other uh, results from the MNV were that they found that the units are able to maintain uniform temperature control throughout the apartments, including in rooms that did not have heat pumps installed, so the bathrooms and the kitchens. Um, and they found very minimal increase in electrical loads, which indicates uh, that for many installations, there's not a need to upgrade the, the building. Um, the exact number was that I think about 30 on, on the the peak at the at the time of peak load in the last winter, only 30% of that load on the building was from the heat pumps themselves. Uh, we can go to the next slide. So um, this is just to extrapolate those results from NYCHA to other um, other areas and other building types. So. Uh, there, there is not much data on how much it actually costs to install heat pumps. Um, I think there's a lot of misconceptions in the industry where it's not, where you don't actually, um, where the, the, the cost of labor is not, not well understood, but, uh, and, and that's particularly a problem for multifamily. Um, but there's a great report from a group called the Urban Green Institute in New York that shows the actual cost of electrifying heat in uh, in large multifamily buildings. And if you compare those numbers um, for DRF and mini splits comp compared to ours, compared to a window heat pump like gradients, uh, 
it's 54% cheaper per square foot than a VRF and 30% cheaper than a mini split. Um, and that's just directly because of the ease of installation. Um, again, the uh, convenience that that the um, integrated home competition so values. And then uh, and then the cost savings that that was observed with measurement and verification activities um, at NYCHA, uh, this the table on the right shows how this translates to other geographies and other other pre-existing heating. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, electric res resistance is obviously the lowest hanging fruit, but um, with steam heat delivered fuels, there's really significant energy savings opportunities and even with natural gas because of the high efficiency of the product. So um, with that, I can uh, take any questions. Thank you.